Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to write algorithm, flowchart, and code implementation for the problem adding two numbers. First, let's discuss about algorithm. So we know that algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve the given problem. Here the problem is adding two numbers, right? And before writing algorithm, we have to be very sure what is the input, what is the output and how do we solve means step-by-step -step procedure. So here first one is input. Here the problem statement itself is adding the two numbers. So the input will be two numbers, right? And what is the expected output? We have to return the sum of two numbers. Add two numbers means the sum which will be produced by adding these two numbers. So output will be sum which is also again a number. So first let's write algorithm for the problem. Input here I am considering A and B, two numbers. And output is a number which we are representing using sum which will be produced by adding these two numbers. So step one, always step one is we have to start the algorithm. So first step is always with start. Step two. So here to get sum of two numbers, we have to get two integer values. So next step is we have to read two values which are A and B. So step two is read number A. Step 3, again we have to read another number which is B. So, read number B. Step 4, once we get the numbers, we have to perform some action to get the desired output. So, here what we have to do? Add A and B means A and B and store it in variable sum so sum equal to a plus b step 5 so we found what is the sum what is the result which is produced by adding two numbers a and b so that is the desired result so this result we have to display so step 5 will be display sum so this is the output right which we are expecting to do so that means we have completed all the steps. So at the end, we have to end the algorithm with stop. So these are the list of steps which we have to perform to achieve adding two numbers means sum of two numbers A and B. So we have discussed about algorithm. Now we have to convert this algorithm to flowchart. So we know that flowchart is a pictorial way of representing the algorithm. So same steps let's represent using flowchart. So here step one, first we always have to start with starting the algorithm, right? And we know that vowel shape or rounded rectangle shape is used to represent start or end of the program. So first let's define start. The vowel shape inside we will be having start and step 2 is next we have to read number a after step 1 we are going to perform step 2 which is read number a so from one step to another step we always use connector symbol we always use flow line to connect between these and to read to read or display data, we always use parallelogram. So this is a data symbol. Either input or output, we always use parallelogram. So let's draw parallelogram. And what we are going to read here? Read number A. So I'll mention read A. Then again, step 3, we have to read number B. So one more parallelogram and here we are going to read number B. 
next step 4 so once we get the both a and b we are going to perform some action so here the action is adding two numbers by using addition operation which is a plus b so to present an action or a process we use rectangle here the action is adding a and b and at the same time we are going to assign into variable sum so sum equal to a plus b so once we get the sum we have to display sum which is step 5 to represent input and output we always use parallelogram so here we have to display sum means it is sum we have produced it and we have to display means we are going to use again parallelogram so here we will mention print sum and we already achieved what we are going to perform right so we are going to end this algorithm using terminator so which we represent using vowel shape again so both start and stop always vowel shape so if you notice it this is the step 1 and read number a step 2 read number b step 3 and doing some action which is sum equal to a plus b which is step 4 and finally we are going to display sum which is step 5 and we are going to end our algorithm so between from one line one step to another step we are going to use flow line so i hope this is clear how we are converting from algorithm to flow chart and what are the different symbols we have used here so now let's write code for this using c language now let's write code using c programming language So here I am defining file name which is solution.c and this is the algorithm which we have discussed and we convert to flowchart. So now let's write code for this. Let's add header which is include stdio.sh and write method which is int main. So we have started the code and step 2 is read a. So to read any number first we have to declare right. So int a and we just mention that enter number a using print statement. And whatever the number we have entered let's store it in variable a. a. So similar way, let's read number B as well. So once we got the number A and B, what we have done, we did some action, right, which is some, which is A and B, which is A plus B and we stored in variable sum. So let's define in sum equal to the action here is A plus B. Once we get the value sum, what we have done, we are going to print it. So for that again, print f and we just give percentile d plus percentile d. So what is the expected here? First percentile d is for a and second one is for b and third one is for sum because a plus b is equal to sum which we are going to display in the finally we are going to end the program so here we are giving return 0 so now if you see whatever we have added flow chart or algorithm here we just converted to coding so first we started the program and we added lines to read a and b so these are the lines and we did action which is defined in step 4 using in sum equal to a plus b and finally we have printed 
the sum which we have produced which is step number 5 and finally we have stopped our program so now let's run this code so here first it is asking in enter number a first i am entering 10 and then second i am entering 20 so 10 plus 20 equal to 30 so just to beautify let me add properly here and then we will rerun again so number a is 23 and number b is 12 so 23 plus 12 is 35 so 23 plus 12 equal to 35 so i hope this video is clear to you thank you for watching stay tuned happy learning